Happy Vlogmas! <laughs> yeah. Mum and I have been into town. We've had an early start. We've done all the errands. We have. Yeah. Um, Dad and I have just worked on the clue and we got there. It was quite easy once we knew what we were doing. Yes. Uh, envelope number eight. Oh, it's got like a little it's thing. Got bits. And then, oh. And bicycles. Bicycle and, and, and many things. Oh. Oh. Okay, so uh. this one's going to be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll we'll be able to do this. It'll be fine. Yes. It'll be fine. We've done well so far. Mother, oh. yours still not arrived. No. Oh, not arrived. <laughs> I thought this was going to be the real thing. No, I'm afraid not. Oh. I have stolen from your stash. Hopefully, is that a new one? Yay! I, I picked the, a new yeah. colour. Yay! Yes. And you can hear the dog pitter pattering around in the back. Yeah. She's oh oh she's looking at her she's, bed, her new bed. Yes, she's got a new bed. <laughs> it's right at the front. You have to keep up for long. There you go. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? Let's have that as a thumbnail. <laughs> With Dad's hat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's the dog's in the bed. <gasps> Yay! Doesn't matter if it's a cat bed. It's nice, isn't it, Suze? You're happy. Yes. See, I told you it's a good one. Yeah. Mum wasn't sure. It's a cat bed. It's not oh, a cat she's no, bed. No bigger than a cat. Ooh, pretty buttons. Mm. Very pretty buttons. There we go. Very pretty buttons. Thank you. I like those. I like those a lot. Um, right. So Dad's Dad has his man here, so it's going to yeah. be a very quick one today. Mum, what are you up to today? We're going Lots. out this evening. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going, going out this evening. We're we? going yes. out for dinner this evening. I've got to so. finish my table running, Christmas table running. Right. Dad wants to get out. So start, um, yeah. start another Christmas present. <laughs> Sorry it's so brief today, but there will be more of us this evening because we are going out. So I will try and film a little bit of us in the Christmas yes. spirit in yeah. front of trees and things. Yay. So we shall see you then. I've got to go and Bye. look after my man. Okay. Three hours later. Okay, I have been sewing for a good couple of hours and believe it or not, this pile is two almost finished bodices and four, eight trouser legs that need to be sewn together, but they have all their, well, nearly all their difficult bits done. It still needs to have the pockets finished, but it is 16.23 and my alarm's gonna go off in seven minutes to tell me that I need to go up to the main house to start getting ready to go out this evening. It's mum's friend's 70th birthday this evening and she, she is treating us to dinner at the Royal, which is very exciting and very fancy. So I am going to try and wear my red silk dress. Now, I am gonna show you it. I do like it. I like it very, very much, <laughs> but the little sleeve doodads I put on have ended up being really restrictive to the point that I'm gonna wear it this evening but I am thinking that I'm going to see if I can take these ones out and put new ones in it's gonna be a lot of really fiddly work because I have pink to that area and this I might not do it you know I might not do it yeah <laughs> it's not a dress that needs to be worn frequently it's not a dress that I have to raise my arms above my head in I have plenty of other dresses that I can only get my arms that far up in them yeah it's gonna be a it's gonna be a dress to be seen in and eaten dinner you know like a, a sedate kind of very pretty dress. it is very pretty but yeah <laughs> The theory was good. I need to tweak the execution, but never mind. Never mind. So I'm not going to film on this camera anymore because this camera is really big and I'm going to be filming on my iPhone, which means the picture quality is going to be better than this, I think, but the sound is not going to be so great. So you'll have to forgive me for that. But I do want to take you along to have a look at the Royal because it is just so beautiful. They usually have a giant Christmas tree. There's usually somebody playing the piano whilst you have dinner. And it's just a really, really lovely experience. And as I say, mum's friend Susan is treating us for her 70th birthday which is incredibly kind of her so I'm very much looking forward to it. So I'm going to go and get ready, I'm going to try and curl my hair, put some makeup on and uh, get dressed. I will show you what I end up wearing a little bit later so I shall see you then. 
Bye. The next day. I haven't even looked at the footage that I got from yesterday, but I have a feeling today's is going to be a very short vlog. Obviously, it is the next day now. We had a wonderful time last night. It was so, so lovely celebrating Susan's birthday in such a lovely place. The Royal is very special to me. I had my 21st and 40th birthday there as well. So yeah, it's, it's an absolutely lovely place, beautifully decorated for Christmas. And it was a lovely evening with friends and family. I, like I say, didn't film very much. I did get a clip of what I was wearing. And I decided to go for this dress as opposed to the red silk dress. I did try it on. I had, I was, I had the shoes on, everything, but I didn't have a fancy enough cover up for my arms that would keep keep me warm and also kind of hide my arms. I'm having a little bit of a crisis of confidence at the moment in, in my appearance, and that's yeah being reflected in kind of the outfits that i'm feeling comfortable in and the yeah the red silk dress is absolutely gorgeous and fits me really well and i really really like it uh, i'm annoyed with the little sleeve caps being slightly too tight and i'm still deciding if i'm going to try and address those or just leave them as is because it's not a dress that i'm ever going to want to go dancing in you know like a uh, salsa dancing arms above head dancing you know it doesn't it's not like a dress that i need to be able to do activities in as it were so uh, yeah i'm not sure but if, if I'm gonna tweak those or not because there's a lot of work getting to them and getting them out neatly and I don't have enough of the silk to recut anything so yeah I'm thinking I'm thinking it's just gonna get left as is and I think I need to kind of have a look at the kind of smaller shorter evening jackets because I have one uh, the brocade which actually mum ended up trying on last night and really really liking and it would have looked great but it was just the wrong color combination I think I showed you guys during one of the hangouts that the bright red with the silver gold and black brocade just didn't work together what I would have loved is to have made a little jacket out of the red silk dupioni to wear together that would have been amazing but obviously definitely don't have enough fabric for that maybe a black one with some red silk accents on it although that does make it then very specific to that one outfit but yeah i think there's a few holes in my wardrobe that i still need to kind of round out next year is definitely going to be a year of much fancier projects because it is my year of projects that scare me the majority of those are kind of like the silks and the evening gowns and things like that so i'm gonna that was something else that i noticed when i was getting ready last night it was like ooh, i don't actually have that many going out evening dresses so, hmm, um, but again, next year I'm going to be addressing that and rectifying that. I always got to the point where I was just like, oh, I can't cut into these fabrics because I need to, it needs to, I need to have a, a venue to, or like an event for them to go to. But you know what? I have a lot of the bases covered in my wardrobe. As I say, there are still holes and I need to kind of have a look and address those holes. But I do have like my day-to-day -day love of dresses covered and I'm not going to stop making them, but it's definitely not something you know like just because I don't go out very often it doesn't mean to say that I can't make pretty going out dresses why not that's something that last night made me realize anyway like I say I'm really sorry that today's has been so short vlogmas wise but we did have a wonderful time it was very nice to have an evening off from editing <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna get that done today and then mum is currently out picking up a friend who has been to the dentist if she doesn't bite them I did tell her about the she could buy fabric rule I'm not sure if that really applies that she's not a sewer but it felt it felt like I should share that information with her so mum's doing that so as soon as that mum's back we will do calendars and then mum and I are going to head out on a little Christmas shopping adventure that we will take you with us this time around we've got to go and pick up dad's birthday present because by the time you're seeing this it will no you're seeing this this afternoon afternoon so yes tomorrow's vlog is going to be yes dad's birthday tomorrow yeah it's going to be a lovely day i'm hoping i can get my two sirocco's finished i'm so close so so close pockets need to be finished trousers need to be sewn together then it's attached to the bodice sew up the side seams and hem it so so close so so close so i should get those done and then i will need to start cutting out some more projects some more knit projects to power through for the next couple of days oh we're also mum's going out to the WI Christmas event this evening and I'm going to Apley Beach Cafe for the sewing meetup. So yeah, it's a busy day. Busy, busy day. So I better stop waffling at you so that I can actually edit this so that it can go up later today and then start filming today's vlogmas so you can see that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> ah fun times fun times and anyway i hope you've enjoyed the little bit of filming and i will see you all very soon for some more waffling bye
拜。